In the previous episode, we started trying to hack our Chinese diesel heater using the HackRF so we can program an Arduino ESP32 to control the heater with Home Assistant. I had the SDR and GQRX here, and that doesn't work so good. So we're just going to stick with the HackRF for now. And then we're going to try this again. So this is the radio module, my ESP32, and I can't get it to even acknowledge the heater exists. So let's see if this radio is talking out to the HackRF at least. Uh, on the scope, this looked good. Uh, I could see that the radio initializes. So let's see if it talks. Okay, radio on, nothing saying. Uh, let's reboot it again, just for giggles. And there we go. We're waiting for the pairing process. Remote is asleep. Nothing here on the Hack RF whatsoever. Let's try putting it into pairing mode because that's what his library says should work. But I'm pretty sure we've exhausted this to death. Pairing mode on this thing is a bugger to get into. Okay, that should be pairing. Nothing. No talkie. No pairing there. So what happens? If I hold OK, we get talky, we paired, but we get nothing out of there. And we get the chatter continuing. Huh. I don't understand how that could have ever worked. Like, I can replay attack this thing, but... Well, I know the frequency now. It's 433.900, so I can see if this is set correctly. Maybe one of the registers is set wrong. Um, there's a whole lot of registers that the library sets. This data sheet for this thing... The data sheet for this thing is 109 pages, so... It's significant. I had ChatGPT explain the registers to me, which worked wonderful. Yeah, I don't know. This should just be listening, and it should be listening for this. I'm going to try that. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCB Way. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. Okay, well if all else fails, what I can do is I can capture the pairing process. So... That's recording. We'll put this into pairing. And then it'll stay in pairing until we activate the remote. See, not a peep. But as soon as we activate the remote, it's going to capture the pairing and the OC1 is going to go away. And it went away on the screen and now they're yapping back and forth. Or at least the heater is talking to the remote and giving us status updates from the heater. And it'll respond. At the beginning of that, there this must have sent the heater a preamble and a wake-up call, which I'm pretty sure it does. And I just don't know how buried in there should be the ID that we need anyway. And it should be in this recording. If all else fails, that's how we can hack it. But this library for this ESP32 just doesn't work.